We'll just take a moment, close our eyes if you wish, take a deep breath, and let it out, and maybe one more. Loving Lord, at the beginning of this Lenten season, we are met with the challenge of handing over every bit of our lives that do not come from you. To rid ourselves of what clutters our lives and all that distracts us from the simple truth of your love for us. Your prophets have called us to change the way we worship, to make internal sacrifices instead of external ones, to seek justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with you each and every one of our days. If we don't give anything up for Lent, O oh Lord, then let us at least cease living in ways that disconnect us from you. Perhaps this Lent we can simply give up our way and give ourselves over to your way for us. So lead and guide us on this Lenten way. May we walk with Jesus towards the hill just outside of Jerusalem. May we, like him, take up our cross and follow, spending each moment our, of our lives living responsively to you, just as Christ himself did, for that is a faithful way. Yet as we enter into our time of worship, we realize that we have baggage. We have things we need to confess to lay at the foot of your cross, O oh God. And so hear us as we come to you to say we're sorry for the things that we have done and the things we have left undone, and even the things that are unknown to us that cause hurt or pain in the world. Hear us in our time of confession. the good news. 
God so loved the world that he gave his beloved son that all who turn to Jesus in hope and expectation may be born anew of water and the spirit. Receive this good news and know that today you are offered new life in Christ. We are forgiven. Thanks be to God. Amen. <laughs>